What the shit is up my dudes and dudettes? Welcome! Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is doing fucking splendid on this evening, morning, or afternoon, whatever time it is. Because on today's video, I'm doing a subscriber's request. Grant Evans, it's your lucky day, dude. Man, you've been commenting on my videos since the very beginning. You're a good guy. And uh, I think this is the second song that uh, you requested that I'm doing. So good on you. And it's because you've been around for a super long time. But uh, the song that we're reacting and reviewing to today is Fit for a Topsy, Black Mammoth. Ooh, shit. Now I am quite familiar with this band. I'm pretty sure I've heard like a song of theirs like a long time ago, but I don't really remember it. So it's time for me to dive deep into this band and see, you know, the fucking heavy, disgusting, filthy shit that I like. Granted, I do like some melodic stuff too. That's why I love my metalcore and I do love my progressive metal, but because of this channel, I'm getting back into deathcore, back into death metal. So, let's see what you got, Fit for a Topsy. I'm sure I'm going to like it. Yeah, that's enough chit chat, right? Let's fucking do it. I do want to say something really quickly before I get right into it. I absolutely love the riffage with the drumming. It is kind of unpredictable. The drummer sounds like he's doing his own song in, with the riffing, and it sounds really cool. But I'm already liking this message. I had no idea about it. So far what I'm really liking is that I asked for the filthy, disgusting, heavy shit, right? But I also asked for like the melodic stuff too. And I love how it, there's like a sense of melody, especially in that chorus. I'm pretty sure it's a chorus, I don't know yet. But uh, no, it's just, it's so powerful. And like, I'm just like in shock at this video and this song. Really good fucking song choice, man. I'm really liking this.
sounds like there's a verse, chorus, verse, chorus kind of structure to it, but what I liked is how in the second verse it was a bit different. It definitely had like a much more upbeat kind of drumming to it, which I really liked. So far the riffage and the drumming is really good. Like I said, this message I really like. It's something that I never knew about. Um, I have to re-watch it already because the text is kind of going by so quick and especially on the first reaction, I'm kind of just listening to the music too, but I'm trying to pay attention to the visuals, but it's really hard on a first reaction. It's a, it's something that you have to keep going back to. Okay, that's fucking good metal right there. That had fucking powerful message that went with the music. It wasn't just trying to be filthy and disgusting for the sake of being filthy and disgusting. It actually had emotion and feeling to it, especially with the music video. I absolutely love the message about the native people getting fucked over because of this oil stuff. Really interesting message. I absolutely love the song. I thought the chorus when it came, it had that sense of brutal melody and I absolutely love that kind of melody where it's just like it's powerful and it's like that shouty vocal with the sense of melody it's so good drumming I really like the drumming in the song there was some interesting drumming patterns happening and it wasn't just you know the typical like beat kind of snare hits I'm not a drummer so I'm not very technical when it comes to that stuff but I just thought there was enough interesting drum patterns that were happening to keep the song entertaining because like I said there was like a verse chorus uh, verse chorus kind of structure, but I am so glad it did not end with the third chorus being repeated again after the breakdown. I absolutely loved how it just was a breakdown out to the outro. That's all you needed and it was so good. I absolutely loved the breakdown. It was filthy, it was heavy, but most important, it was powerful. And that's why I absolutely love metal is one of the best forms of music to get a message out there to make it super powerful. And this song did that. This song did a fucking great job at it. I really like the guitar work too. There was like really interesting just like strumming riffs that were just sound so sweet. It sounded really good. I dig the vocals and like I said, I loved it how he's bringing that melody in the chorus, but it wasn't like a poppy or anything or whiny. It was just a brutal melodic kind of growl, you know? It was really well done, good band. I can't believe I've never gave this band a chance, but god damn, that was a good song. Grant Evans, dude, you know my taste in music, so you did a fucking good job of recommending this song to me. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I am going to check out this song again right after just to see the message again, because I'm sure there's details that I miss. I kind of got the overall message of the song, but there was a lot of facts that were kind of spitting at me that I need to like check out a little bit more. But I thoroughly enjoyed that and I appreciate you commenting and being a good dude. But if you guys got a song recommendation for me, comment down below. Show me something nasty, filthy, disgusting, but something powerful, man. Something with a lot of emotion too. I fucking love that, man. I love being having my jaw dropped. But if you got a song recommendation like that, comment below. But other than that, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.